Okay, so today we are going to stretch and work on our IT band, iliotibia bands, and knees, and glutes all around or connectives of the tilio band. If you have a foam roller, go ahead and grab it. If you don't have a foam roller and you have it, just grab like a tennis ball, whatever you're going to have. So that's going to be your warm up. So if you have the foam roller, you're going to foam roll your quads up and down to warm it up. And you're going to roll it to one side and do your bend slowly from your knee towards your hip. And you can do the front. And you can do the middle. If you don't have a, the foam roller, grab the ball and do the same thing. Roll it up and roll it down. And go ahead and just roll it all over those quads. Playing around. If you find a spot, this tender, spend a little more time. Make sure you do the inside of your leg as well. Let's do the other side now. You can use this leg to add more body weight or less body weight, depends on how sore that is. I find a spot right here is very tender. So go ahead and stay in the spot a little longer and roll it slowly, trying to loosen up. Okay, so now, if you had the ball, you're gonna stay on one side and you're gonna do your glutes now, from the top of your hip all the way down, because that's where your iliotibia vein starts. Your iliotibia vein grabs all the three glutes we have, like in a little fan, wraps them around it and it brings it down and to the side. So if you have foam roller, cross your right leg on top of your left one and foam roll your booty and your hips. Again, when you find a gentle, a soft spot, stay there a little longer. This is a great way to create some blood flow and that connect tissue. I have to release a little better. Okay, so now you're gonna place your left leg on top, lean on the left glutes, the side of your hip, and do the same thing on this left side. Okay, now let's do one more time. You are gonna get on your right side and you're gonna foam roll the right side. The foam, the iliotibia vein again. Up and down, make sure you go all the way to your knee. Now roll it more into your quads. Now let's go on the left side. It's a great way to warm it up. You definitely don't foam roll enough. If you don't have a foam roll, I would highly recommend it to get one. I had this one for like 10 years. Okay, now, last part. If you don't have a foam roll, you're gonna place your leg cross in front, grab the ball, to the inside of your leg. If you have foam roll, you're gonna wrap the foam roll with the top of your leg and you're gonna roll the inside from your knee. Ooh, I really feel that one. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. You can roll the ball in the inside of your leg or your foam roll like doctors, the inside of your leg.
Okay, good job. Okay, let's stand up. If you have your block, have a hand right next to you. You're gonna start with the inchworm on the walking plank to open up the hip and keep that warm up. So stay tall, inhale. Bring your arms up, reach up as high as you can. Exhale, lean forward, bend over. Walk softly with your hands if you can keep your legs extended even better. You're gonna stay in a plank. You're gonna bring the right foot right next to your right leg. I'm gonna rotate to your right. Rotate to your left. Keep that right knee forward. Now you're gonna stay here. Let me come to the front so you can see me. And you're gonna slightly open the knee, right knee out slightly, and you're gonna turn on your elbows. This is when, depending on your flexibility, you might wanna have that yoga mat right there. So thinking about, Sinking your left hip and your right knee opens to the side. Okay, bring it back up. Bring your right leg back and walk it again. Stay right here, down here. Bring both hands towards your left side and bring your hip, right hip to your right side. Side. I want you to really feel on the side, right side. Now bring your hands to the outside of your right ankle and lean to your left side with your hip. So you feel that like stretching on on the left side, hip and glutes. Okay, we are going to walk again. Walk forward in a plank. Now bring your left foot right next to your left hand. Sink the hip down, rotate to your right, rotate to your left. Now open the right, left knee out and bring your hands on the floor. Sinking the right hip down towards the floor and your left knee goes to the side. Go back on your hands. Bring that leg back, walk again towards your toes. Stay right there. I'm gonna put it like this so you guys can see me better. Stay right there. Walk it again. Hands erect underneath your shoulder. Bring your right leg right next to your right arm. Rotate to your right. Rotate to your left. Bring the right knee out. Bring your elbows down on the floor. This side I'm tighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that yoga block and place my elbows. Really driving this knee to the side and your left hip down on the floor. Back on your hands. Drop that knee down on the floor, your left knee down on the floor. Bring your chest tall. Inhale, if you need to, place the yoga mat on your right side, yoga block. Inhale, exhale, bring your left arm over your head and lean into your right side. Really pressing your left hip, reach into your left. So you feel less stretch. Inhale, exhale, bring it to the front. Bring your hands on the floor, take that left knee off the floor. Bring your right foot back, walk it. Stay right here. Lift the toes if you can. Place your hands underneath your toes and roll your toes towards you up. Okay, one more time. Let's walk. Stay right here on the plank. Hands erect underneath your shoulders. 
Inhale. Exhale, bring your left foot to your, your right hand. Rotate to your left, sorry, left hand. Left foot to your left hand and you rotate to your left side. Bring it back down. Now rotate your right one. Keep that left knee pointing forward. Bring your hands back down. Bring your left knee to the side, rolling to the side. And go on your elbows if you can. Inhale, exhale, go back in your hands. Your right knee is gonna go down on the floor. You're gonna come up. Bring the hip forward. If you need to place the block on your left side, inhale. Exhale, bring your right arm over your head and reach towards your left floor. Your right hip is reaching to the side, leaning on your right side. So it's not just reaching, this hip is going that way to your right side. Breathe. Exhale, bring it up. Bring your hands back on the floor. Bring your knee off the floor, your right knee. Bring your left foot back and walk it. Walk it, walk it, walk it. Bend the knees and roll up. Nice, great warm up, huh? Open up our hips. Okay, you're gonna stay here up. We are gonna do the chair. For those who ch ch struggles with balance has two options. You can grab a chair close by or you can sit in the chair and do the same, okay? You're gonna stand on your right foot, chest tall. You're gonna cross the left leg on top of your right one, right above your knee. You can stay right here. Or you can also inhale, bring your arms forward and sit back in a chair. And come back up and do it again. Make sure you lean your back behind you. Stick your back behind you. Bring your arms in front for helping from the balance and to help you your chest up and sit as low as you can. And come back up and get your glute chest forward. Inhale. Exhale, do it again. And come back up, nice. You're gonna stay on your right leg again. You're gonna bend your left foot. And you're gonna pull that knee back and away. If you can, grab it with both arms. Your chest is tall and you pull in that knee as far back as you can. Trying to pass the other knee, but it's not coming out. Stay right in the line with your hips. Chest is tall. If, if you have the option to stay right here, if you know you're gonna bend forward a little bit, and you're gonna try to bring that leg up as high as you can. Come up and slow and rest. Oh, wonderful. You see, I use my yoga, my yoga block, so feel free to have a yoga block right in front of you. It should help you too. Okay, we are gonna go on the other side. So we are gonna stay on your left leg. Your right leg is gonna cross on top of your left leg. Make sure it's not on your knee, it's above your knee, right on your muscle. Inhale. Exhale, sit back, bring your arms forward. Sit as low as you can. You're gonna feel a nice gluteal stretch and come back up. Keep that leg crossed, pointing this knee out as much as you can. Inhale, exhale, do it again. Sit low as you can, as low as you can. And come back up. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Sit back. Try to go a little lower, a little lower. And come back up. Oh, I love that stretch. It's right, nice to stretch, but also we're working our balance and we're working all the strengthening. Chest tall, inhale, 
you get this way so you can see me inhale exhale lift the right leg grab it with right arm you can stay right here or you can bring both chest is tall shoulders down and you invite that knee and going away from the other knee as far as possible while your chest is tall okay now keep your chest on your right hand you can stay right there and you're gonna bend forward bringing your chest down on the floor mm -hmm. <laughs> try it again this is my back foot there we go I'm bringing the right knee as far up as you can. Come up slow and release. Woo. Great job. Okay. You're gonna stay right here. Okay. Keep the mat, if you had a block, keep it. You might want it for later. We are gonna cross your right leg in front of your left one. This is one of the best IT band stretches. So keep your chest tall, lock both knees, inhale, exhale, and bend forward. And it should be relaxing, you should feel the stretch, but you should not feel that you tense up. If it is, grab your yoga mat and help it to relax by bringing your chest a little higher, okay? You can stay right here. You're gonna inhale. Exhale and walk your hands towards your left side. So the leg is on the front, you're gonna be right there. And your right hip is tilting towards your right side. Nice stretch. Inhale, exhale, walk your hands towards your right side. Now you're gonna be on your back leg, back foot. Lean your left hip to the side. And a nice stretch on the left side this time. Back to the front. Now you're gonna bend the front leg so your right knee is gonna bend. And you're gonna shift the body well completely to your left leg. Now reach, turning to your right side, the back leg, keep the right knee bended and shift all the body weight to the left side. So bring the hip towards the left side. Leaning, can you see it? So I'm bringing, keeping my right one bent and keeping my body weight, my hips towards my left side. You see, I'm not here, I'm sticking my butt towards the left side. You should feel a crazy stretch on the outside of your left leg. Come back to the middle. Lock both knees, bend both knees, and roll up slow. And cross them, inhale. Exhale, engage your glutes, bring your chest back, bring your hip forward. And exhale. Okay, we are gonna do the same thing on the other side. So inhale. Exhale, cross your left one on top of your right one, in front of your right one. So your left leg is in front of your right one. Inhale, exhale, bend forward. Both knees are locked, extended, your quads are engaged. Place the, bo the yoga board if you need to, the block. The key is you should feel a stretching and not tensing up. If you are tensing up, you're not really doing a good stretch. And you're gonna inhale. Exhale, walk your hands towards your right side, so towards the front leg. Both knees stay locked. Now walk your hands towards the left side towards your back leg, keeping both knees locked. Back to the front. Now you're gonna bend the front leg, your left one, bend it. Shift all your body weight on the back leg and your right one. 
You're gonna inhale, exhale, walk your hands towards your left side and shift, woohoo, shift that right hip all the way to your side. So you see how you wanna lean on that thigh. You can place the board if you need to, but lean as far as you can. So your body weight should go on the outside of the back foot and your right hip is pulling to the side. Back to the front, block, block both knees. Inhale, exhale, bend both knees, roll up. Oh, that was wonderful, isn't it? Great. Okay, let's sit now, let's quick sitting. We're gonna work a little bit here. And before we know it, we are done with it. Perfect. So you're gonna place your right leg across in front of your left one, just like that. Just a little farther forward, okay? You're gonna inhale, exhale, walk your hands forward and your chest is trying to go to the right foot, the front leg. Again, you should feel it right there on your hip. Walk it, up, chest tall. Bring your right hand behind you, right next to your back, right next to your booty, sitting bone. Stay tall. I forgot to say this, if you cannot sit tall like I am, place the board, the block, right underneath your butt, so it raises you up, okay? Rotate to your right side, so you see my right shoulder is back, and from there you're gonna inhale, Exhale and bend forward. So it's almost like you try to bring the left shoulder towards your right knee. Walk it back up. Now you're gonna bring your left hand behind you, chest toe, and you rotate to your left side. You inhale, exhale, bring your chest, your right shoulder to your left knee. Come back up. Now you're gonna grab that right leg and I'm gonna cross it on top of the other one. If it, you cannot feel both sit bones hard on the floor, sitting tall on those sit bones, you can extend the bottom leg. But I don't want you here, okay? Either way, you want to stay sitting tall right on your sitting bones. Your left hand, left arm, is going to wrap the right knee, and you're going to rotate, bringing your hand behind you. Your right shoulder reach back. Feel the booty stretch. Inhale, exhale, release it. Go, now we are gonna switch it. You're gonna place your left leg forward in front. Your right one is on the back and it's a few inches between the legs, okay? Inhale. Exhale, bend forward. This side is way easier for me than my right one. And my right one is being cranky and it's a bit it's because of my IT band being tight. Inhale, exhale, come up. Bring your left hand behind you, stay tall. Bring the left shoulder back. Inhale, exhale, bring your right shoulder to your left knee, leaning on the floor as low as you can, keeping your sitting bones on the floor. You should feel it a lot in here, in your obliques, on your trunk. Walk back up. Now inhale, exhale, bring your right hand behind you and rotate on the right shoulder, bring it back. Inhale, 
Exhale, bring your left shoulder towards your right knee. Keeping the sitting bone down on the floor. So you don't want to lift it and lean it on it. You want to make sure you're still sitting on your back the whole time. Just work on that. Open your rib cage. Inhale and really stretch all that side. Come back to the front and bring the left leg on top of your right one. Again, if you have challenge to stay tall and sitting on it, extend your right leg. Your right arm is going to wrap that left knee. Your chest is tall. You inhale, exhale, and you rotate into your left side. So your left shoulder is reaching back. Keep both sitting bones on the floor. Your butt is not coming off the floor. Bring it to the front. Okay, our last one. This is another great one for iliotibia band. You're gonna grab the band, the, the belt, or whatever you have, a towel, whatever you have. You're gonna place it right underneath your the bottom of your right foot, right toes, the sticker part. And you're gonna lean back with the right leg up. Breathe, stretching, really working on that ankle flex. You're gonna grab it with the belt, both with your right hand. Your left hand is gonna go on the floor. You're gonna inhale. Exhale and bring your right leg as low as you can. Your left leg should be on the floor. It's not coming off, okay? It stays right there, engage. Your left shoulder is flat on the floor as well. Really keeping your left quad engaged so it stays down on the floor. You should feel a slightly stretch on your left one as well. Inhale, bring it up. Now both hands, the left side grabs the, the belt. With one hand, your right one goes down on the floor. Your palm, right palm is down. Your inhale, exhale and cross your right one. You should really feel that stretch. Try to keep your right shoulder on the floor. Inhale, exhale, bring it to the front. Pin the right knee, pulling towards your right shoulder. Grab the knee, inhale, exhale, roll up. Nice. Ooh, that felt wonderful. Now let's place it on our left one, right on the bottom of your toes. Really working on the ankle flexes. So pull from that. Inhale, exhale, lean back with the left leg. Your right one stays down on the floor. Both hands. On your left hand, your left side, your left hand grabs the belt. Your right one goes down on the floor. Your inhale, exhale, and you bring the left leg towards your left side. Your right one is placed engaged, flat on the floor. So your hip is not coming off. Make sure you're relaxed. Make sure your ankle is flexed. Inhale, bring it up. Now your right hand grabs the belt. Your left one goes down on the floor with the left thumb down. Your left shoulder is down. Your inhale, exhale and bring it to the side.
Inhale, exhale, bring it to the center again. Then the left knee. If you can, reach your toes. If you know, keep pulling from the, from the belt. And bring the left knee towards your left shoulder. Inhale, exhale, grab the knee and roll up. Okay, let's stay in here in a comfortable position. Let's do last deep breath. Inhale. Breathe, breathe. And exhale. Thank you, guys. That was wonderful. And if you have some time and you can want to foam roll again at the end, that would be great. You can spend another minute in each side. After all, we did loosen up the iliotibial vein. Thank you. Thank you.